Hey, Kobe, what do you get if you divide the circumference of a jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? Pumpkin pie! Ha 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 ha! When most people think of the word pie, they think of this dessert. However, pie also refers to the math symbol that's associated with the circumference and diameter of a circle. I find this weird squiggly symbol next to a circle and decide to totally block out the symbol and focus all of my attention on the circle, which I assume was supposed to be the pie that I heard earlier. But listening in, I come to realize that the weird squiggly symbol was called pi, spelled P-I, and was what caused my sudden craving for sweets earlier. Well, moving away from the association of desserts, pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference and diameter, and is numerically known as 3.14 or something like that, but is commonly rounded to 3.14. If you have never taken geometry, you might wonder why this crazy, never-ending constant exists, but trust me, it is important. The first known users of pi are the Babylonians, who estimated pi to 3. However, from 1900 to 1680 BC, they began using 3.125. In 1650 BC, the Egyptians found 3.141592 as their estimation. One of the first calculations of pi was used by Archimedes of Syracuse. He used Pythagorean theorem with inscribed and circumscribed polygons on a circle. His estimation was between 3 and 1 seventh and 3 and 10 70 firsts. Some famous mathematicians that calculated pi by hand were Ludolf van Sulen who found 36 digits about 1600. Then, about 1870, William Shanks found 707 digits, but was found to have made an error on digit 527. Even if I had all the remaining time of the universe to answer the question, what is the exact value of pi, it would be impossible to give a finite answer. The reason? Because pi, the symbol which represents the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is an irrational number, meaning that its decimal places will literally continue forever without stopping and without repeating itself. However, although this fact is universally agreed upon, mathematicians continue to seek more and more specific values of pi, with the current record being five trillion, yes trillion, decimal places. A seemingly unnecessary task, you might think, since the circumference of the Earth can be calculated to an accuracy less than one centimetre using just ten decimal places. Here are a few other interesting facts about pi. In 1706, William Jones began using the symbol for pi because it referred to the symbol for P in the Greek alphabet. He used P in reference to perimeter, or circumference, of a circle. Pi Day is celebrated on March 14th at 1.59, representing 3.14159, which also happens to be Albert Einstein's birthday. Pi has also been referred to as Circular Constant, Archimedes Constant, and Ludolf's Number. A couple of recent happenings in the Pi world have included Chao Lu, who set a world record for reciting 67,890 places in 24 hours in 2005. Also, in 2011, Alexander Yi and Shiguru Kondo used a computer to calculate Pi to 10 trillion digits. I hope you've enjoyed these interesting facts about the history of pi and will celebrate its creation next March 14th.